Hey guys! Um, I'm super excited to say that I um, accomplished one of my goals for 2014 um, a month into the year. So um, I did my first red carpet makeup and it's really exciting for me because those pictures like are always going to be online, you know? Like, so I'm so excited for um, the client that I did. Her name's Tamara Malik. Um, she's extremely talented an up-and-coming singer and um, I'm sure that by the time most people see this video she's gonna be absolutely huge um, and so I was really excited to work with her for the Golden Globes 2014 after party she went to the NBC Universal party she did the red carpet and I wanted to create a look for her that would um, be age-appropriate but really focus on um, like natural beauty and so I have everything lined up that I used on her, and I'm going to show you how to get um, tomorrow's look from the NBC Universal Golden Globes after party. So um, I started with her complexion. She had um, some makeup on, so I removed it, and then I um, softened the skin with Embryolisse. And this is the I need to get another another bottle this weekend, but um, it's Embryolisse Late Cream Concentrate, so it's just a really great soft gentle moisturizer for all skin types. You only need just a little bit. And I pressed it into her skin using my body heat to melt it right in. I made sure to get her neck, shoulders, the dress she was wearing um, came up to about right here, so I didn't need um, to do a whole lot of uh, body makeup. After that was on, I applied the fabulous Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox, but it's for, um, come on, focus, um, for under the eye. I like to apply with my finger and then use the tip to massage it in. The stimulation is going to take down any puffiness. Then before we got started on any color, I put some lip condition on her. This is an oldie but a goodie, it's by MAC Cosmetics. I put it on really thick so any dryness in the lips would be taken care of by the time we got to the lips. Then I perfected. So I started with Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. Looks like this. This is not a concealer you want to use under the eyes. Um, it is not meant for that. It will be way too dry. And on many of you with dry, with dry under eyes, um, or really just any of you, it would be way too dry, way too cakey. But the wonderful thing about this is that it doesn't budge on any blemishes and it photographs beautifully. So I used um, a number two on her, which it's different than this one. This one's a SC4, which is my color. So I'm going to find any little bits that I need to perfect. And just stipple it on. I'm using a um, NARS concealer brush. Then what I did is I used your Air Flash very lightly. I used a mix of 100 and 200 on camera, but I'm going to use 301 on myself. And I'm using a Dior foundation brush. So I used one of my favorite products, which is the Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan. I used a mix um, of a, a couple different colors on her. Um, I really like number nine for most um, most skin tones. It's a really bisque color. It reminds me of Bobbi Brown Bisque for any of you that have used that. I like to use it on any places you want to correct. So I like to use it on myself under the eye and I'm going to zoom in. I want you to see literally how much I'm using. I know it doesn't look like much but It is so pigmented. One grain of rice will pretty much, like size, will do your whole face. Then 
Then I used a color that was more her skin tone. On me, I'm using number seven. Now that you know how little I use, you're gonna, you will really notice this here. I'm gonna use my Dior foundation brush again. This gave me coverage that I was happy with. And it doesn't look at all like she was wearing really any makeup in person. So it was really nice. She didn't need a whole lot of under eye correction. So I didn't do too much concealer on her. She didn't need it. Um, what I did use to give her just a pop of color is a Chanel cream blush. And this one is in Presage. It's a like really pretty, it looks pink there, but it's quite coral. And I just used my finger. I added color just like this, and then I took a beauty blender and had her smile while I just blended it in. Then I took one of my new favorite highlighters. This one's by Jouer. It's called Tiara. Took my finger again. And highlighted all over her cheekbone and temple area. I wanted her to have a really pretty soft focus. To set everything, um, I used a Laura Mercier translucent. I just dusted this. I wanted to retain the shine throughout, so I didn't like pack on the powder, just a light dusting. Then I used La Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I used it on my Bobbi Brown Ice Sweep brush. Had her look up like this. By this time, if you um, are using a concealer that is settled, um, that's okay, um, because when you look up, now you're going to see like if it has any lines, you just want to press it in, look up, and press this powder on. Really just right around in here. I'm not blending it too much because I'm going to be doing a little bit of powder shadow work. So in case it falls, I want it to fall on that powder so when we dust it off, it will all be gone. So. I used the cutest paint pot. I think this one is permanent now. It's called Perky. Sorry if it's not. I think it is though. Um, it's a really nice coral. It reminds me a lot of their one of their old paint pots that was my absolute favorite called Coral Crepe. It's a little bit more pink though. I had her look down while I swept this over the eyelid. After the paint pot's on, I used a favorite shadow of mine called Ho from MAC. It's a really nice, um, like light, medium purple, and it's Ho by MAC. Used a Trish McAvoy blending brush. This one is a 29 tapered blending. I had her lean back so I could see where her natural crease lied. And I just emphasized her crease. Then came my favorite part. I didn't want to do too much cliche sparkle, but I wanted to give her a pop. So I pressed a MAC pressed pigment. This one is Blonde Streak. Pressed pigment is best when actually pressed on your eye so you can remember it like that. It gives a very um, pretty application. I then tight lined with Trish McAvoy's Intense Gel Liner, which is a huge favorite of mine.
for her eyebrows. She already has a great shape. I wanted to emphasize without being too dramatic. So I used Coquette Shadow from MAC and just barely took it through what she naturally had. Now on me, after this tutorial, I am totally going to fill in my brows more, but she has really, really nice brows, great shape. I then lined her with a felt tip liner. I used YSL's Faux Sil. Once this was done, I curled her lashes. I was so proud. She said that she curls her lashes all the time. Every time she does her makeup. Like, good girl. I don't even do that. <laughs> I then used a favorite pair of lashes. I buy these in bulk from Mamie's here in Los Angeles. Um, these are the Demi Wispies. And I used trusty duo glue. I tell you, I've tried so many different types of glue. Nothing is better than duo. It really isn't. So... I stick to it. Once the lashes are on, I always like to reapply the liner over the top of the band. I then put a coat of Trish McAvoy Lash Curling Mascara. I did the bottoms first. The reason I chose this mascara is because it's not a waterproof, which can be damaging to your lashes if you use it all the time. Um, and I just don't like the feeling of a waterproof mascara. I like these because they're water resistant. Um, all you have to do is actually use water, nothing else, warm water, and pinch the lash and it peels right off. And I didn't take this mascara all through the um, falsies. I took them just through her lashes to blend them with the falsies. The reason I like the wispies is because they're kind of all over the place. They're really pretty. They go in different directions. And they really make the eye stand out. And that's the, really the finished look for her lips. I just put a simple lip gloss by Stila. Um, it's kind of like a nudie, peachy one. And I don't have it because I gave it to her to touch up with. But... Um, just a simple gloss, and actually, I could even leave this lip conditioner on, or I could probably just grab a gloss really quick that I got here. And actually, I have another Stila gloss, so I'll use this one. This one's called Angel Food. God, these always smell so good. So thanks so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. This is my first red carpet look that I did. Um, the pictures turned out gorgeous and it's exactly what I wanted. So I was really, really happy. Um, I guess the only other thing I need to do, oh God, is make sure that we're all blended off here. Could have been, could have been bad. A little more fix plus. Thanks, guys. I'll see you at the next video.